Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to replace the uh, um, wing mirror indicator. As you can see, some scumbag has hit my car and just completely broke the lens off. Uh, it's actually a very simple process and I'm going to replace this part here with this new one, which I got secondhand from uh, eBay. It cost me uh, just under 10 pounds. Um, there are other options um, to go instead of the original. Uh, there are some, uh, what they have called the dynamic ones, which has the indicator, just like you see in many Audis and Range Rovers, which go like this. Uh, not really keen on that. Uh, so I'd rather to stick the original. Now, um, the first thing to do will be to pop the um, wing mirror cover off. Uh, remove uh, the mirror as well and then we'll be set off to do the replacement you're right there okay to remove uh, the wing mirror cover off you have to release it by putting a flat screwdriver through those areas over there and there's another one hidden in here and you probably could see that on my previous video about the Mark III wing mirror replacement, which will show you how to remove the cover. Okay, so that one is off. Now I'm just going to remove the mirror by removing these clips under here. You see there's some small clips. I just like to undo them. Like so. And I can just unclip for the bottom without forcing the uh, clips. And I'll just put the mirror on its side, just like that. And now the sprout looks like it's pretty much loose, but it isn't because there is a clip on the other side inside the um, casing. Now inside the casing, there is a clip. If you just put your finger just like that underneath, there is a clip in there and you just push it and then this should come off very easily. Just take this out and put the new one back in. Now, this procedure will also be suitable uh, to replace these um, indicator bulbs. However, I haven't got a spare one, but I will be doing this in the near future. Like that. And According to plan, there is a little piece of plastic in here. Make sure it slots into place. The strange is not really clicking in. Yeah, it's all right, it's a bit of a feeling, but this still original Ford is slightly yellow with age, but that's the same with mine as well. So at least the two of them do match. Now it's time to put the mirror back in. Don't forget that these four holes in here do line up with the center of the clip. So make sure they are perfectly centered and you just clip in place. And uh, they are all good to go. I then just pop the cover back in. Make sure that these slot into these holes in here, like so. Give it a push, and it's all good to go. Lovely. And that's it. That's another job done nice and neat and uh, I just also use a summer trim clean in order to revive this a little bit I have to use a probably different method next time because it does 
uh, look quite different. This is quite black and this one is all almost grayed out. Um, so the same procedure also applies to the Mark III Focus, because as you see, these indicators are actually very, very similar and uh, the um, assembly process on both wing mirrors is actually virtually the same. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching and uh, see you on next video. Take care.